Salaho everybody and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get true 90 Hertz all the time on your brand new OnePlus 7 Pro. And what I mean by this is the 90 Hertz option that we currently have under the display setting is really more of a 90 Hertz auto mode, which means it adapts to basically certain functionalities within our system to basically turn on 90 Hertz or 60 Hertz, depending on the application. This is TK. We're going to turn it on full time 90 Hertz on our brand new OnePlus 7 Pro. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we put out new videos on the channel. So in front of us I have two different OnePlus 7 Pros. On the left side I have the OnePlus 7 Pro turned on to 90Hz all the time and that's using the ADB command and I'll explain to you guys how I did that in a second. On the right side I just have the standard stock OnePlus 7 Pro and what I mean by this is I actually just went into the settings and I went to refresh rate and I have it set to be at 90Hz. The standard this is exactly how we're supposed to do it. And this is where the option is currently set to be auto mode 90 hertz it's not true 90 there's a third option that's not available here if you go to 60 it does actually make everything into 60 frames or 60 hertz but on the 90 hertz right now it's running in somewhat of an auto mode and what i mean by this is depending on the application that you're using it will basically gauge the needs and then basically tune the display to run in that mode saves us battery and it provides us basically a good smooth experience. Unfortunately, some applications don't necessarily render very, very nicely. So this is what we did here. When you do this option and you go into the settings tab, let's go into the settings and you notice under the display, you have the screen resolution and the refresh rate. So you go under the refresh rate, you'll notice neither one of the options are selected. And that's a byproduct of me turning on this functionality. Once you do this, your device will show as if you're not selected. And not only that, it'll also say that you're running 60 Hertz. So how do we know that we're running at the right format? Well, before we get to that step, I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. Uh, the simple process is using ADB, meaning we need to connect to a PC, a Mac or a PC and run a specific command. I'll give you guys a link in the description below to the article over at the XDA portal talking about the process and what the actual command is to turn it on. Um, once you install ADB on your PC, just go down, find the actual command, turn on it and open up a terminal port, connect to your phone, authorize it, and then just run the command. And once you do that, the option under your display setting and the refresh rate will no longer show as a selected option, but you are going to be running at 90 hertz all the time. Now, conversely, if you want to basically get out of this entire thing and just undo what we did in, in the ADB, meaning you want to go back into the, what the standard options are, go ahead and just select one of these two options and it will automatically change the setting. Again, the setting that we're selecting is the third option that's not here, that is essentially 90 hertz all the time. Now, let's go ahead and open up a browser that doesn't necessarily support 90 hertz right now. So what I went ahead and did here is I launched the Test UFO website on Firefox using both the OnePlus 7 Pros. On the right side, I don't have this functionality turned on. On the left side, I do. And you'll notice right here that the refresh rate is running at around 90 hertz, which is what you'd expect. So if you're just running it standard on the 90 hertz option that we have built in, is it's an auto mode, meaning it'll go in here and it'll run it at 90 hertz. Conversely, if I go into Chrome, Chrome does have the ability because it is a browser that is whitelisted to be able to run 90 hertz all the time. So if you're running Chrome and you're running that 90 hertz options, you're for the most part not going to miss out anything as far as web browsing. But where it happens is, let's say you use Firefox, let's say you use another browser like Samsung browser, whatever on your device, you're going to get somewhat of a limited experience. And that you'll notice that when you're refreshing, when you're scrolling through things, you'll notice that it's not as smooth as when you're running it in the UI. And that's really the big difference. The UI itself does run at 90 hertz. And this is something that you can enjoy. You can see the refresh and you can definitely enjoy the refresh rate and the smoothness of everything. This option will just enable you to basically get this feature running on all your applications at the same time. It does unfortunately come at the price of a battery. So you wanna keep in mind that running 90 Hertz all the time is basically like running your car at you know fast speed all the time. So you need to be aware of that. And if you're not happy with it, again, the simple process is just go back into settings. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of us are wondering if I turn on 90 Hertz all the time, does that mean that if I go into PUBG or even into games like you know here, what we have with Fortnite, do I automatically get 90 Hertz? Well, the reality of the matter is not really. Uh, this actually gets turned on from not only the developer as well as actually the display has to support it. So it's really a two part thing. Yes, your display is running at 90 Hertz all the time and a display obviously will definitely give you 90 Hertz, but the actual application is limited to 30 frames per second currently. It doesn't even support 60 frames per second, which is supported on some devices that are running basically IPS LCD displays. So keep in mind, uh, hopefully, you know, Epic will definitely give us this option. And once they do, we'll be able to get a better frame rate uh, on Fortnite. Now, as far as PUBG, uh, as far as game acceleration, we're definitely going to be getting better, you know, performance there. But again, frame rate is not part of the performance boost that we get with the OnePlus 7 Pro. So basically, the only thing that you need to do once you're done with this, is let's say you don't want to keep staying at 90 hertz all the time, is go into the screen refresh rate and select 
And like you see here, it pretty much just takes over back and it goes back into the 90 hertz auto mode, or you can go back into 60 hertz auto mode depending to your preference. So this entire process was discovered by coincidence from an exposed developer that was trying to add a toggle or a tile that gives us the ability of jumping between 60 hertz and 90 hertz. And then they realized there's a third option to actually go 90 all the time and that the 90 that we currently have is more of a 90 auto mode. Uh, as far as basically what we're using ADB for, it literally is used specifically just to select that third option that doesn't have a GUI button for it, meaning you don't have an option to be able to select it with your finger on your display. So the only way to do this is to use ADB commands. We are not rooting your device. We are not changing anything on it. All we're using is the system to be able to enable us to select that third option that's 90 hertz all the time. And if you're not happy with it and you notice that the battery drain, which by the way will happen, the battery drain will be a real here, uh, it, you definitely have the ability of jumping out of it, go back into settings, refresh rate, select 90 or 60, and you're back to normal, to the normal standard oxygen oil options that we have currently. Now, as far as game performance, as you saw, it doesn't really help us much. The display runs at 90 hertz, but the game is still capped at 30 frames, so it's not really something we can benefit from. But I'm hoping in the future, once we see more things and Epic Games decides to update Fortnite or something, we'll be able to get more frame rates out of our brand new OnePlus 7 Pro. I mean, we have, a we have an amazing display and refresh rate and great sound and a big battery. And right now, it's literally limited by the applications that we have installed on our device. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.